about a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Yaggity yaggity ya, blah blah blah, okay we can skip this since we know it already. So where were we? And then one day something very peculiar happened, something that will forever change Stanley. Something he will never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour until he realized that not a single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. What he then discovered was that everyone had died. Wait, what? Well, this isn't the script I written. Um, let me check that. Well, it probably will just be a small change in script. Maybe it's someone changed it with without informing me. the best game ever. Okay, well, I can't pick up that key. Alright, so, please stop talking. Hi, everybody, my name is Daniel Gamer Pay, and welcome to San, uh, Stanley uh, Parable, the horror game parody. Now, he just talked as if you guys already know Stanley but, uh, Parable, but if you don't know what it is, it's pretty much just this uh, person who was trapped in a... Oh, my god, I can't think with these noises. Anyway, it's a game where you are able to go out, venture out, and pick different um, endings uh, to uh, your character, and your character is pretty much stuck in this office setting area, and you have to find out the dark. You get to find out the dark secrets that are going on behind it, and whatnot. All right, so this guy didn't really give me much information. Uh, is it F? This is just so you know that if it, there's bugs in this game, um, it's because this is early access. It's still in development. Don't be too harsh on it. Well, I'm about to be because I have no idea what my controls are. You said you'd be right back. You didn't come back. What is this? Why can't I get out? Guys, I literally cannot pick up this key. Come on. Is there a way? So sorry about that. I had to go online and uh, check to see <laughs> check to see if there was a control list. And apparently there wasn't, but uh, someone did say that there. Yeah, that was a thing. So didn't know that. Didn't know that. Also, I found out while I was on the page. This I forgot to. I didn't forget to mention, but I didn't notice this until. Um, I went back on it. This is all, this was an entry for the Indie vs. PewDiePie game uh, contest, and this was, I think, a while back this happened when that was going on. How to horror. Don't know it. Horror hot. <laughs> Forest are spooky. Scary fonts. <laughs> well, anyway. Oh my god, no. Alright. Oh no. Alright. Fix a mouse, there we go. It's totally, that's too spooky. Anyway, so this was for the Indie vs. Um, PewDiePie horror, uh, Indie Horror Game Contest or some shit, which I think happened a long while ago. Okay, so maybe if we stick to the script, the game will function like it used to. 
let's do this. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, fun. Very funny. Of course the door is not responding. Just pick the right and let's see where we'll get. Okay, so anyway. Sorry I'm not being able to talk in correct sentences, it's hard to think on the spot. But anyhow, um, with that, I usually don't like playing other people, like other uh, YouTubers, or any YouTubers, I don't like playing their games and I didn't realize that, but I'm gonna go ahead and just continue playing this game, um, cause it was an entry and it isn't fair to just stop playing it in the middle of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue playing this game and see how good they go. I did see in the comments that the, the developer was trying to figure out if he should continue playing on this game and making it into something more. So we're gonna help him figure it out. Also go onto the door in the right because that one was working. Don't play mu don't play that music. Ah hi! <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Okay, water fountain, you did it apparently. That's right, I said it. The water fountain did it. Where is it? Oh, I got lost for a second. Alright. Business plan kill everyone or cut expenses. Oh no, kill everyone that will you know, cut expenses. Alright, well, okay, the music is really fucking loud because I decided to stop being a big ass baby. How did I just get lost? Because that's legit. What happened? <laughs> okay. Because I couldn't go shooting any. Okay. Thanks for playing the demo. Rate and more is coming soon. Stanley Horror Parody Beta. Designed and developed by Morris Roos. I think I said saying his name wrong. Voice by Curl Mega. Music by Cody Voice. And that's where you can get the music. Made in three days for the Indie vs. PewDiePie Challenge. Follow Jorcom Games and Joris Roos on Game Troll. Please leave feedback. Uh, way too much text on these walls. Can't thank you all enough for playing Joris Roos. Worst game ever. Piece of shit. Joris is mom for real. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's actually kind of hard to make a video game. Because, especially if you don't know where to start or whatnot. But anyways, um... Uh, for what he had with the three days that he had uh, made this video game, I think that he did uh, exceptionally well. Uh, there were some, like, weirdness to it, like, um, the immediately done thing and all of a sudden your the guy was dead. <laughs> um, there wasn't- if you want a Stanley Parable, you have to have different endings and not just a forced ending. 
Also, there's uh, the controls. You didn't explain that there were no fucking. There were literally no controls that you just have to walk through everything. And like, yeah, I could have, I could have figured it out. But at the same time, I'm one of those people that need to know what the controls are at the beginning of the game. You could have had like a small tutorial within that one room and just said walk through wall. That's could have been that could have been it. But you know, not saying that out loud just sounds stupid. <laughs> like, there's gotta be some sort of way for people not to sit there and, like, panic for a second. Um, other than that, I think this game was good, and I do want to see more from it. I know you said that this was a demo and that you were debating, but I think it was good. I think it was good, and I think you need to spend more than just three days on the game. But, uh, for everybody else, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. If you have a comment for me, leave it in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay free, sorry, buddies. Bye-bye!